I was about to be like, oh, some shit's gonna go down, because this one's called Idol Transfiguration. But then I thought, oh wait, it's Jujutsu Kaisen. Some shit goes down every episode. <laughs> What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Jujutsu Kaisen episode 10. Last episode was a roller coaster. We had Mahito and Yoshino developing their relationship. I have no idea where that's gonna go. We also had Nanami and Yuji developing their relationship. I, I really enjoy that. Currently, we have Ichiji and Yuji tailing ya uh, Yashino, Yoshino to try to interrogate him, question him about what's going on because he was the only one left at the movie theater after those three high school bullies died. So, so curious to find out what's going on there. I think Nanami is going to be doing his own little investigations. I do want to see that as well. Hopefully they show it, but I'm just so excited for this episode. I say we not waste any more time and let's jump right on into it. Real quick though, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching like Jujutsu Kaisen, which is this show, Black Clover and Haikyuu. Check out the Patreon down below. We are four episodes ahead. Links are always available for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not subscribed. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. And then follow me on all social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, episode 10, Idol Transfiguration. Is that why he went to see Earthworm 3? He is into scary movies? I can't stand bullies, bro. These are the same ones who died, right? A little piece of him wants to step up, you know? That disc you're standing on? Get off my shit. Yeah. Better move your fucking foot before my man curses you. I feel so bad. Oh no. Oh. I never would have thought I would ask for Mahito to come in and do something, but <laughs> you want to slide on through Mahito? See, he's just a good kid, man. Going to movie club, talking about fucking movies. That pisses me off. Now we're back in the sewers. How it shows, again, where he started to where we are now. I don't blame him. I can't lie to you. Yeah. I agree. True. Oh, that's so fucked up. Oh my god. That's that is true. He's seen the worst side of him. Probably just pictures they could have been a bully or could have been a horrible person, you know? It is a little contradictory. Indifference, but revenge. That's Mahito's special power. I mean, they both definitely are spitting somewhat facts, but, you know. Depends on how you look at it. I will say this because it seems like some shit's about to go down. I will say I always will like a villain more that's relatable and has very realistic issues and... and problems at which they're trying to change they're just going about it the wrong way I, what's the saying because we're talking about quotes a lot in this episode what's the saying uh 
evil intentions are always oh fucking the, the wrong path is always paved with evil in, or good intentions something along those lines you guys know what i'm trying to say i just really am liking yoshino right now I mean, when you look at it as simple as that, it, you know, it all makes sense, but... I love the split between the eyes, too. The animation and the camera work in, in the show is the cinematography is immaculate. They're still doing their exchange training. She's still getting spun. <laughs> yeah, what the hell are those? It's a fly head. A low-level curse that doesn't even qualify. Oh, it's always lower than it. You can probably smack it and it would die. Then nothing will happen. You can just... Yeah. True. I love this 8-bit animation for this. Got it. Determining the threat and how much knowledge he has of Jujutsu. Because neither of them are grade 2 yet. Which, if I remember correctly, Megumi's a grade 2, Nobara's a grade 3. So we're talking about sorcerers. 2 equals 1, 3 equals 2, stuff like that, I see. Just go up, and, just go up a level, pretty much. Oh, is that where Yoshino was going? Are we gonna meet? Oh. Oh. No, Nanami's doing his own sewer investigation. Bro, I am so nervous for my boy fucking Nanami. I literally just met him and he's going against what I assume to be the strongest curse we've seen in the show so far. <laughs> Frivolity and there's sinister strength behind it. Oh yeah. I love Mahito's jujutsu like purple fists. He hit the crit. Nice. Which he's like, shit, I was not expecting that. Yes, very intelligent. Mm-hmm, putting two and two together. Oh, yeah. Ooh, more philosophical questions. The chicken or the egg, which came first? <laughs> which came first, the soul or the body? That's a great question when you think about it. Or the body, yeah, forms around the soul? It's a good question. It's like Attack on Titan, you know? Really? So that's what he does when he touches someone. He affects their soul and their body takes shape as well. Oh, he's a soul changer. Idol Transfiguration, the title. No overtime for my boy Nana. He's killing you in 30 minutes, whatever the cost. That's the teacher who was watching him get his ass bullied and did nothing, right? No. Yeah, because if I did, I'd piss on their graves. Yeah, is this man lost? I don't really, I, I don't like the way this is animated. It's all like negative. Yuji literally just saved that fat teacher's life, because that man, Yoshino, was about to fucking blow him away.
That's Yuji. <laughs> Yuji's such a cool dude. Doesn't seem like any pressure's going on. It seems like he wants to talk for talk's sake. And then we cut right back to the goodness. Holy shit. So the fact that just a number of humans he keeps on him at all times and he can just change them however he wants is so crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Put him out of their misery. Chop him up right now if you can. Oh, I would be. I'm too much of a softy though. Oh, I'll wipe his tear. Respectable, respectable, not on me. He is lying. Fuck. Really? I see, so he just needs to get, he doesn't even really need to hit him, do damage, he just needs to touch him. And he can alter your soul to me, oh my lord. He's off work, right? He's off at six? And he's going, oh, no! All right, normally it's so hard. I just want to say for the people who are not full lengthers over on Patreon, normally editing down these episodes to 10 minutes is very hard, so I never can get the Juju strolls in there. But that Juju stroll was fucking hilarious. I just got to say that. It was the whole skirt one with no bar if you forgot about it on YouTube. But fucking hilarious. Oh, past that. I actually did not write down a lot this episode versus last episode. I wrote down a lot. But it was still overall a fantastic episode. Thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying the fight between Mahito and Nanami. Definitely one of those strong, strict, on the outside kind of guys who has a has a deep compassion, caring for people on the inside. Because he had to even oh, that was so sad, bro. When he sh like shot the human at him, and the human was crying, and he said, "Save me." And like I do, I think the human itself is actually dead even though Mahito said it takes a little bit because he's had so much practice with experimenting. But like with, with the brain, even if he transforms them, disfigures them into crazy shapes, their brain still sometimes, he says, sweats. Like he was just crying. Like, oh, bro, I feel so bad. Oh, and then uh, Leary said, it's better for the victims to kill him quickly. He even wiped down the tear. He says, I, I'd take my personal feelings out of business. And he, yeah, fucking Mahito could read his soul saying you're lying, which man just confirms to me what how good of a guy Nanami is. He's a cool dude. Um, there was a very interesting conversation at the beginning and with Mahito and uh, Yoshino about fondness and the opposite of it being indifference, or fondness and the opposite of it being hate and overcomplicating things that are so simple. There's a lot when it comes to humans that are very tricky and very unique and so weird and this show actually touches on a lot of the issues with humans very well like a lot of the like even with that pr not the principal he just looks like the principal from high kind of even with the teacher you know who assumed they were friends and i, I actually kind of understand what nana or yoshino was saying when he said like you went to school lived the school life graduated and then worked at a school so you really never have that developing change to kind of get past this. You're still stuck as like a t as like a child. You're like an adult child, and it's it's interesting. And he was like, "Bro, aren't those your like? Fuck that teacher, first off." But it's just, it's just I don't know. This episode, the fight was fantastic. I love the in depthness. I'm so curious about this conversation between Yo uh, Yoshino and Yuji. Yuji is such a cool, sincere dude. He's just like, "Yo, man." He, he had a hunch that he didn't like the teacher. He, he, Yoshino was about to fuck him up. He's like, yo, you don't want someone loitering in front of your house, man. Let's go Let's go over there. Let's go have a little conversation. He was like, cool. You know, you still got Fushiguro and Nobara training. This exchange, which I thought was going to be the next arc, is just, oh, man, they're setting the show up so well. This show is so fucking great. I'm just thoroughly enjoying this, guys. I got to say. Mahito is so interesting when it comes to this philosophical 
beliefs and because he is literally created from the hate people feel towards other humans so it's like uh, it's, just, it's just crazy if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below like always i appreciate you dapper squad don't forget to follow me on all social medias have a great day you guys peace out